Hey guys, so I am coming out with my very first kill a kit video. I have never killed a kit before, um, and I actually got this on Thursday, and it's Sunday, um, and I scrapbooked uh, Saturday and Sunday all of these pages. I just felt like the kit really spoke to me. I loved the May 2016 Citrus twist kit. Sorry, I got a little tongue-tied there. Um, but I figured I'd show you guys the layout. Some of them, they are already up on my channel as a process video, so I won't get too in-depth with it. Um, but I figured I would show you guys. And then also, I'll show you guys what I have left as well. So this one, I did some watercoloring to match the curtain because I forgot to put the photo in black and white, and I didn't feel like reprinting it. So I used some of the sequins um, and then some of the word stickers too that say you make me smile and um, that moment when. So that was a really easy layout and that is up on my channel. This one I filmed but the video was corrupt so I'm pretty sad about it because I really like this layout. Um, we were at 26 Beach which is our favorite restaurant and it was Valentine's Day 2013. So I used the little um, cut up, it wasn't a cut apart but it was like pre-made so in love um, and then there was also a so happy as well. Uh, the frame around my boyfriend I really really liked um, and it just says I love you all over. Over it so it kind of felt like that was perfect for Valentine's Day. This is my least favorite layout. It was just like all the scraps that I ended up having and um, I just kind of threw everything together which is fine. Like I still I still really like it in the sense that it's done. I have it documented and I'm happy. Um, so I used a little bit of journaling, another frame, but that was actually um, a piece that was a part of the Pink Fresh, I think, um, little kit. And I used one of the cork board, cork board, but cork pieces and did some splatters. Now this one is up on my channel um, and I will link all the ones I already have a process video to down below, but I cut out the squares because there were a bunch of different pattern squares, which I really liked, and I used the chipboard frames as well, and I also framed this photo, and I remember to put this one in black and white, um, so that's quite nice, and I did a little bit of stamping, and I have the word happy um, as the title down below. This is another one that I filmed that never made it to YouTube. Um, i uploaded it and it said it was uploaded so I deleted the footage and it wasn't really uploaded. Um, this is a picture of my cat uh, hiding in a drawer that we had and I used a lot of the ephemera. I, I had a hard time trying to cluster it all. I ended up just kind of throwing it everywhere and I made the title of this play because as you can see her eyes are huge and she is ready to play or pounce um, and this background was my favorite one from the whole entire kit and I used it up in one which is awesome <laughs> um, and then this I also have a process video for it's called here and now this is when me and my boyfriend were at the urban lights in LA and I used a tag I used some of the background this was actually um, an inspiration from one of the kits well, not one of the kits, I mean one of the sketches. And I really like how this one turned out. It was really simple. All of the ones that I did were very easy. I did a little bit of mixed media as well. Um, and then I'll show you guys what I have left, which is quite a lot, but this is now just gonna go into my stash because I did run out of the pattern paper. Um, I mean, I have a little bit left and you'll see. I have a lot of these corkboard pieces left, um, but I love all of these little embellishments, especially for Project Life. So these will go in my stash with some of the other ones that I have. Um, this would make a great pocket page. I have plenty of sequins left, so I'm going to save that. I have one little frame from the chipboard pieces from the kits. And I just keep the thread, so that was a little bit that was left over. This all came in a little package as well, what I'm showing you guys. Two frames, which I really liked this gray one. I tried to use it, and I love this bloom one, but as you remember, um, none of the photos really had any, anything to do with flowers. 
And they also had nothing to do with a clock, a typewriter, a clipboard. So I'm not sure what I'll do with these. I might give them away or throw them away, which kills me. But I just don't want things sitting in my stash I don't think I'm going to use. Um, and these, I use a ton of them, these fancy free, I think, Pink Fresh Studio. There's 50 pieces, and I probably used at least 30. Um, I have probably like 15 or 20 left. And here's just a couple other pieces, like I said, that I didn't use up. A lot of them were the clear ones, not because I didn't like. No, actually, there's a good mix of them. Um, I definitely really liked this pack. I found a lot of the words easy to use um, and things that I do actually say, unlike, you know, the typewriter up in the corner. So I'm definitely going to keep these. Uh, and I like the way that they're packaged. So you could just like slip this back in and you can leave them like that. And these were some little, I don't know, die cuts, good vibes, happy thoughts, and you are lovely, which I, I only ended up using one of the four. And then I have these thickers left over in the blue. And then I have two left over in the silver, which I, again, love these. And I, these will definitely get used. They're really easy ways to write titles. I have a ton of these word stickers left by Citrus Twist. Definitely going to be used again. I always use these in my project life. And since they're a nice neutral color, I'm really excited about that. The cut apart sheet, I will cut apart the rest of them and then put them in these little baggy because all the kits come with the cut apart. So I just have them pre-cut. And then this is all the paper that I have left. Um, not a whole lot. I could probably make something out of uh, it, I'm sure. But for the sake of the video, I just wanted to show you guys what I have left. And this is pretty much it. I think I'm going to move on to another kit. But thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more. And hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.